She is the co-creator of The Daily Show, a self-proclaimed troublemaker, and she is the author of Liz Free or Die. She gets to call it that because she is comedian and writer Liz Winstead, and she is right here to, with us to talk about what else but fly fishing? Yeah. Yeah, fly fishing. That's how you roll, right? Well, it, it's how I've, I have rolled once. It's how I've rolled once. <laughs> you wrote an essay for us in the journal about this. This was for your 50th birthday. Yes. And you wanted to cross this off the bucket, the bucket list, so to speak. Did you actually have a bucket list? I kind of, I have a loose bucket list. <laughs> you know, it's not a very interesting one. Like maybe finding the right low calorie chip, for yes. example, would be on my bucket list. <laughs> but I do, I did want to go to all 50 states in my lifetime, and I'd been to 49 of them. And so I hadn't been to Alaska. And um, I grew up in Minnesota, grew up fishing. So you knew about fishing if you knew grew up about in, fishing, right. yes. Grew up in Minnesota, grew up fishing, more grew up drinking beer and then with poles and waters. But, you know, we call it fishing there. But I really, a friend of mine is an avid fisherwoman who lives in Alaska and said, come up for your 50th. It's your 50th birthday. It's the 50th state. Like, do it. And I thought, that sounds amazing. So she arranged this whole trip for me to this amazing lodge with hot fly fisher people. And, um, cheap beer, cheap canned beer. You know what? Yes, she did. She had cheap canned beer. And it was all good for you. In fact, you know what? We have some for you here. Oh, good. Liz, because is that's, this really beer? Yeah, it really. Can I really is. drink it? It really at is. The Wall yeah, Street it's Journal? good. We're oh, you good. and I are going to go together. Okay. Because right. we think that it'll make the interview. Yeah. And you have Cheers. a koozie. We have a koozie. What is the koozie? Don't. We're, we're trying not to promote. Are we it. hiding so the koozie? We're hiding the koozie. Okay. All right. Here's <laughs> so, me. Now I look like I'm drinking hot so tea. Cheers. This is like on safari. Mmm. Mmm. It's just perfect, isn't it? Yes. So. But fly fishing is more than bad beer. I mean, bad beer is a large part of it, but it is more than bad beer. You know, it is. And if you've ever talked to anyone, and I'm sure you, you look like you talk to many fly fishermen. Um, <laughs> you can tell that. Yes, I right. can tell by the blue blazer and the pearls. Right. People have this love affair when they start doing it, and right. then they become addicted to doing it. And I was like, how can that be? Like, I have never had that um, come to Jesus moment in my life with many right. things. So when I went and we got in the water, and you have to put on so many clothes. You're Layer. Freezing Alaskan water. Right. And I brought like yoga pants and you know yeah. maybe a pair of wool socks. Good and, planning. Yeah. yeah. And you know because they were like we have waiters. I'm like right. okay. But there needs to be so much between you and the waiter because if that water hits any part of you, you're done. You're freezing and, and it's it no freezes fun. off. Yeah. Awful. So then you're standing in moving water, surrounded by bears, and it's intense. We landed in this float plane, and there was. When I say a dozen bears, that is when I stopped counting. In the water, they're just fishing on for the, the same shore. same fish you you, you are, yes. right? Yeah. It's you and the bear. Right. The bear, you're armed with a paddle and a pole, an inflatable and paddle. Yeah. Yeah. And they're armed with being a bear. So basically, it's kind of a lose lose. But the guys paddle bear. Yeah. yeah being a bear, I choose being a bear. The guides were so like, ah, go get out of here, and then they would go away and get their fish. But um. Once they kind of go away and you realize there's so many bears and there's so much fish right. that they pay no attention to you. And then you kind of get into the fishing. The first day I landed one and, and it took me four hours to land because the dance of you, you go back and then you do this thing like this and then you let your um, line drag and float yeah. and then you get a fish and then you have to kind of follow the fish and exhaust it. Exhaust it. It really does kind of feel like a dance where you know how awkward you are at first yeah. when you're learning and then once you learn the flow of it and you really have a partner. And so you and the fish were one. Me and the fish were one. And then I was like kind of bummed because we were catch and release. We didn't keep our fish. Right. And once we released the fish, I was like, I don't want a bear to get that fish and eat it. Like, that was my first one. You, you it was my first. Yeah, it was your fish. It was my first. If you were going to take a one late night talk show host comedian with you fly fishing, who would it be? Oh, my God. They're all useless in that area. <laughs> so none. I mean, maybe Letterman seems like he has the most outdoorsy prowess. Certainly not John Stewart. Not taking John Stewart. Certainly not Stephen Colbert. You heard that, Stephen. Um... They just would be reading the whole time or something, you know? <laughs> Thinking up the next election joke. Thinking up the joke. next election joke. Um, <clears throat> late night host, Conan No. Um, I think that I would take Rachel Maddow. You would take Rachel Because she fly fishes and she knows what she's doing. So you're so she's a survivalist. Not really a late night host, <laughs> but I want to go with somebody who isn't a wimp. Because, you know, what I learned quickly is the reason they jack you up with all those clothes and stuff is really because you're out there for a long time, and nobody wants a whiner. Right. Nobody wants a whiner. <laughs> you heard that, guys, out there. Nobody wants a whiner. Nobody wants a whiner. Right, and I was not the whiner. You were not they the whiner. They invited me back. 
Well, I'm, cheers to that. Yeah, Thank you so much for this beer. Good piece, and you get the rest of that, and you and I'll just keep talking. Okay, good. Right. Chugging Perfect. contest? Yeah, no. Don't we need a horn for that? <laughs> we need a horn for that. <laughs> Thank you.